Okay, this time I am, no matter what, getting off this damn recording in less than 10 minutes because it does not like um, anything over 10 minutes. Um, I think people just get bored of listening. Um, now, first of all, let me excuse myself for wearing these ridiculous bumblebee mask shades. Well, except for they, yeah, they are. My only credi uh, credible thought is uh, Bono wore them, and he's uh, very charitable, so it's for my brain, actually. Looking at all these screens, um, I just can't, once it starts, it just doesn't stop. Oops, let's get that to Google before we even start. Okay, now what I'm going to do very, very, very quickly is this is all sort of part of it. I've done this pure stuff, but you do it yourself um, so you know 100% it is live and everything's you know above board and everything you see is online as we speak. So, um, okay, just reading that. Um, right, I wrote a website some time ago called canyoutrustthem.com. Now the reason why I did this little venture <laughs> was not to make money because I don't make um, a penny from it, purely simply because I don't advertise, I don't charge, uh, I don't do anything to create a revenue stream. Um, as you'll see, with the very basic details I ask to settle your um, your debate with whoever uh, has ripped you off, for want of a better word. Um, so if we type in, can you trust them? Now, if you just type, straight away, obviously, as you would expect from your own domain name, when you type it in, you, you come at the top. Generally speaking, you should pretty much fill the first couple of pages um, with various uh, Google grabs certain parts. There is, a, there is an algorithm that does this, but that's for another blog. What I'm going to do, I've written here, um, not too much on the education part, <laughs> part but <clears throat> you'll find that I get straight to the point that I do sort of know what I'm talking about. When I say sort of, I do. <laughs> Without being uh, sounding too much of a plonker, um, I've researched and spent an awful lot of time understanding, listening, uh, speaking to, etc., etc. Google programmers, to various expert papers and of course my own uh, R&D on various other things like apps. I've worked with government agencies, um, I've been offered a fantastic, uh, I was there for five years actually, <coughs> I was offered an incredible um, deal, offer, by the uh, sheriff, mayor, and various other people. I actually did it alone with my girlfriend at the time, uh, Diane Wilkinson, who was certainly not technical, but she was a great support uh, for me while travelling around. I worked in the movie industry, uh, give or take, of five years. Um, ironically, um, the last thing I went over there to do, uh, even though I would have loved to um, got into that sort of sector, I had no qualifications apart from I'm very creative and um, I learn technical sciences like computers very quickly, albeit I can't spell at all. I'm dyslexic and I have been since realising I was dyslexic and I'm still unable to spell the word dyslexic, um, give or take 20 years, 15 years ago. Um, wasn't really a known thing then, but when I was at school. So um, here we go. Really, really quickly, because probably three, four, four minutes, I wasn't going to say F-U-C, X, 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 then I was going to say uh, something else, but uh, five minutes in, already halfway, so I'll get straight to the point. Kenyatrusten.com. It is a free, I say stress-free, it is totally free. We don't sneak and give you an extra, you know, uh, we want a bit more data, then we're going to sell it. We don't do anything like that. I don't do that. I fund it myself. It's not too expensive. It's just the expense of funding um, the bandwidth because that can get quite heavy given the fact that 30 million people from the day I set it up and launched it 
with literally this one page um, because that's all the data I had. I've changed this somewhat as they've changed, but I took on two friends, uh, set up a company a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, but several years ago, um, called Griffin Finance. And on the tin, it was financial matters. I negotiate to credit, credit card companies to bring down and freeze interest to bring down the cost of loans that were quite obviously given to people that couldn't afford to pay them back, i.e. very simply, I would fill in a form, even write a letter to say, Mr. Jones' income is 28,000 a year, his loans with interest, etc., etc., exceed that. How do you expect him to pay it back? You knew this. Why did you give him a loan? Yes, of course, there's an argument to say Mr. Jones shouldn't have taken a loan out. But when you see, um, just in simple terms, the, the traffic, the correspondence that are being pushed onto loans uh, very manipulatively, um, he ended up in a real mess. This is one example. Of, 27,000 at the time um, when, when I had my problem with these two guys, Nicholas Holmes and Miles Grady. I'm just going to stick to the facts, just the facts. Only that I can prove beyond any doubt, I mean facts, evidence, whether it be a phone recording, whether it be whatever, um, emails. You can imagine there's an awful lot of data that when you're out to collect it, you can certainly get it, especially when you know people within the office and you learn an awful lot than you ever dreamed um, you'd, uh, you'd, ever ne you'd ever get to know because you'd assume it was very private. But in the world that I call now the digital jungle, which it is, um, navigating your way through such a messy Say messy, it's not a messy world, it's the fact that generations now, the last generation especially, are uh, brought up on it. Schools, etc. When I was at school, the first computer we ever got was shared by the entire class, which was a BBC B, and you could write and work out um, various things, whether it be math, etc., as quick with the pen and paper as you could on the actual computer itself, like the spectrum, etc. So I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I know an awful, awful lot, and I don't mind telling you that because. I could beat around the bush and tell you whatever, but the bottom line is I've spent a long time researching and uh, developing applications. My last YouTube blog, I don't do this at all. Uh, a few times I've done it out of frustration. I've got 150,000 hits before it was taken down by the UK uh, arm of the particular video service because uh, Miles Gray and Nicholas Holmes just sort of lost their mind with lawyers and I suppose <clears throat> the service provider thought we just you know we're not, never going to get to the bottom of this um, Mr Griffin obviously has got a very good point here but we don't really want to get in the middle of this it's going to go because of, I had a reasonable profile when I say reasonable at the moment it's far too high for what I want because of circumstances surrounding that I can't talk about but um, you probably know very quickly why. Um, but I had a high profile ish before with business, um, front covers of magazines, uh, so newspapers, etc. etc. was on radio one several times, television. I won the dragon, say one, can't think of a better word, but I won the dragon's den with my girlfriend. Didn't leave this seat actually, which was, shows you how easy it is in the world of the internet how easy, easy, easy it is. If you know what you're doing, you can literally do something like that without moving, which many years ago, you wouldn't have a chance. You'd have to sit down, meet, phenomenal amount of um, due diligence into a character, into their history, whether they've got a record or not, whether they've done, you know, moralist things or whatever. Um, but now, no, you can write your own reviews pretty much if you know what to do you can pretty much do what you want on this tiny piece of glass um, a lot of people hide behind. So straight into this now, because I'm starting to ramble. Can you trust .com? So easy to use, it is unbelievable. <laughs> it, it is, it, my mother can use it, and that's saying something. So, no disrespect to mum, but she's pretty hopeless with, I think, don't think she can turn a computer on yet. Um, all you have to do is, if it's a company or a person, you tick, 
Again, I apologize for these glasses. I just, if I take them off, I get blinded. Um, personal company, my case, person and company actually, Pay Matters, was where they funneled the money that they took from my company, Griffin Finance, which turned to Harrington Brooks, which was sold. They came out of the facts alone. They came out with 20 million. I came out with less than, well, say one and a half. So the fact that I was the founder, the financier, the...